People don't go to work drunk. Well, sometimes they do. You, there are very specific reasons you strip off your clothes in front of somebody. So today I'm going to be looking at the reverse of a list that I did previously on this channel that you guys asked for. These are lies that Americans are told about Europeans. Now obviously I'm Irish, I'm a European, so I can only come at it from my perspective. Who else's perspective would you come at it from? Whenever I make these lists, they are generalizations. That's where we're coming from. We're talking about en masse things that people believe. Invariably, Billy Bob will come into the comments and say, well, I'm from America and I don't believe that about Europeans. Yes, Billy Bob. This is not a specifically Billy Bob list. They're generalizations, stereotypes for reasons, commonalities among people. Before I get into today's video, do be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, next time you have a really, really important thing to look up on the internet, your Wi-Fi will go, and you don't have 3G, slash 4G, slash 5G, slash 25G, whatever people are using these days, to avoid such an inconvenience, like, share, comment, subscribe. Okay, the first lie that I think Americans are told about Europe or come to believe is that we hop as easily between countries as you guys do between states. Since going to America, I have discovered that states in America are in some ways comparable to countries in Europe in that you have your own laws and stuff, but traveling from country to country is not as easy as traveling from state to state. Generally speaking, you are crossing an ocean to go to an entirely different country. You have to have your passport, there are border controls, and they are closed borders. They're not like open borders. For example, you can travel from the Republic of Ireland to the North of Ireland, which is part of Britain very easily without passport checks, but you cannot travel from the Republic of Ireland to England that easily. It's not like super impossible, but it's just not as easy as going from say, Idaho to New York. The next lie that Americans are told about Europe is that each country is as distinct as it is in the movies. So for example, when somebody goes to France slash they only really ever go to Paris in movies, you never see them go anywhere else like Marseille. It's always Paris. I am très excité to be here. <laughs> Everybody in France in movies and TV shows dresses a certain way, eats a certain way, and acts a certain way. The depiction of Ireland is that we're all living in rural Ireland in thatched cottages, and that we are just surrounded by fields of grass constantly, and that we're all drunk all the time. The last one, culturally, yeah, drinking is a big thing in Ireland, but I would also say, like, people don't go to work drunk. Well, sometimes they do. There's these green fields, and there's us. Whatever that is, it holds me here. In reality, globalization is a huge thing. Places are very similar, especially cities. If you go to Dublin City, it's not super different from New York City. The shops are even very similar. French people don't walk around holding baguettes, and Irish people don't all play the violin. The next lie Americans are told about Europe, and this is a big one, it's that everything is cheaper in Europe. I think there's a conception that America is the most expensive country in the world and that everywhere else things are going to be cheap, which is actually not the case. You can't afford this. There are certain things in America that do blow my mind how expensive they are. I'm going to touch on it. Healthcare, your healthcare is crazy. I saw recently somebody's hospital bill and they were charged like $350 for paracetamol. Also, hair salons in America are crazy crazy expensive from what I have seen on TikTok and YouTube. I saw somebody talking about doing highlights for $250 for a head of highlights. So there are things that are more expensive, but other things like food, eating out, stuff like that, they're very, very similar in price in a lot of places. Now, of course, if you go to a small village in Poland, it's going to be a hell of a lot cheaper than it would be in Dublin. And the same is true of city and country in America. If you go to a restaurant in middle America, it's going to be cheaper than if you go to a restaurant in Hollywood, California. Also, since the whole Ukraine thing has happened, it's had a massive knock-on effect to the price of goods. Supermarkets are super expensive in Europe right now, and I don't know if you've heard, but electricity bills are going through the roof here. I actually had my patrons explain why the cost of things in the supermarket have gone higher. They were telling me it's all about transport and gas and oil, and it all made a lot of sense to me, so thanks to the guys for explaining that to me. The next misconception I think Americans have about Europeans is that everybody in Europe is healthy and skinny. This one 
actually came from a lot of you guys years ago. You said this to me on a poll that I was running on, I think it was Twitter or maybe it was my community section on YouTube. There is a misconception that everybody in Europe rides bikes around the place all the time. And because we walk a lot more than our American counterparts that everybody is super skinny. That's not the case. People are unhealthy and unfit in Europe too. There is an extreme in America that has not yet reached many places in Europe. Where I am in Marbella at the moment, everybody is pretty much super fit and skinny, but that's also because I live really near the beach. However, if you go over to Ireland where people spend a lot of the year in jumpers and coats and stuff, we don't really care about having six pack abs so much. And we just enjoy our potato crisps. Just very much depends where you're at in Europe. The next one, and this is actually a huge misconception that I've noticed, and maybe something that tech companies lie to Americans about, it's that you guys get tech faster than we do in Europe. And don't get me wrong, there are certain areas where tech is more advanced in America, but in a lot of ways, tech spreads out a lot faster in Europe. Because we're individual countries, it's easy to have a new technological advancement spread out faster. For example, tapping your debit or credit card has been around for donkey's years in Europe. And that's because it was so easy to get the infrastructure going in smaller places. The last time I was over in America was 2020 and most places did not have tap your card technology. A lot of places in America still take checks and that's wild to me. If I tried to pay for something with a check in Ireland, it would be like, no. Also, you've probably heard me mention that nearly the entirety of Ireland has Wi-Fi. That's because it's such a small place. It's easy to roll it out on mass. I was really interested when I had knee surgery recently to find that a lot of their medical advancements in terms of technology were above and beyond the American system. Don't get me wrong when it comes to things like launching astronauts into space, the Americans are up there with it, but smaller things in just general life do tend to happen a lot faster in Europe than they do in America. The next misconception that a lot of Americans have about Europeans is to do with nudity. People are a lot more open with their bodies in parts of Europe. You can sunbathe topless around here, it's no problem. You see little kids running around swimming pools without their clothes on, it's not a big deal. Whereas in most parts of America, that sounds insane. Sunbathing topless is usually reserved for special beaches and things like that. Maybe your back garden on the QT. That being said, however, people don't just go around taking their clothes off. I've seen that happen in a lot of movies and TV shows that people from Europe are just totally open with their bodies. You're not going to just strip off your clothes in front of somebody for just a random reason. There are very specific reasons you'd strip off your clothes in front of somebody. There's always this stereotype, especially about women in movies who are from Europe, that they just like take off their clothes. I could come by your house afterwards. I could change clothes at your place. It's not a thing. And when women do sunbathe topless here, there is etiquette to it. They don't go around like walking up and down the beach like that. They try to be a bit discreet with it, but at the same time, it's not like super undercover. And people don't tend to stare at people with their tops off not good etiquette. And the final lie that I think Americans are told about Europe is that everybody eats cuisine all the time. A huge fascination on this channel is to do with food and the differences between food. And there are very marked differences between food in Europe and America, but that's usually on specific times. A lot of the time, we will just throw something frozen into the oven like you do. Some people are into cooking more than others, but the French people don't go around eating snails for dinner all the time. Spanish people don't eat fajitas and tapas every single day. And fast food is a thing in Europe. We might have a hamburger and chips for dinner or chicken nuggets. Mm, chicken nuggets. I'd say the big difference is when we come to what we call a salad. I've mentioned that before in videos. You guys have a very broad definition of what constitutes a salad. Just because you throw leaves in, it doesn't make it a salad. It's pasta, you're eating pasta, Fred. When it comes to prepackaged things, there is definitely distinctions between 
the products that we eat and you eat. That is super interesting. I did a video a little while ago with one of my friends from Brazil about the difference between kids' lunch boxes in Brazil versus Ireland, and I found stuff like that really interesting. But on the daily, I would say I think our diets are more similar than we are led to believe. And those are just a couple of lies that I think Americans are told about Europeans. Let me know below if there's anything you think you've been lied to about about Europe as an American person or indeed the other way around. That's it for today's video. See you guys on the other side. Bye. Where is Chewy? Where is Oh my god, where is he? He's under the bed, you guys. Hello. You okay down there? Is it much cooler under the bed? <laughs>